14 career wins over 19 seasons. It's the first time that these two teams have ever played each other. It's Austria in red serving, Latvia in black receiving. This is the last of the quarterfinals from the men's tournament here in Cancun, Mexico, and it's the perfect start for Austria with an ace serve. Moritz Pristals putting Janis Medins under pressure from the get-go. Smedins back into the swing of it pretty quickly, getting the side out. Nice swing, Martin Imakura just coming in on the cross-court angle. Nothing in his way, so carried on to uh, put the ball into the open court. Early call and an easy lead. Nice movement from Imakora. It's all about the movement and pace and speed off the ball to get yourself in a good position. For the, when you're watching the game, you spend most of the time watching the ball. And it, it's so good to take your eye off the ball. You can watch the players, watch how they get into those positions, watch the, how they make their movements to make the game look so easy. Cora's going to be a bit tricky to stop, isn't he? Well, Latvia quite happy to go against him. They feel that he's the weaker of the two players. Otherwise, they'd be going after Moritz Pristaus. See how that ball was blown by the wind. Samoilovs had given himself enough space in order to uh, contain the ball and be able to put it where he wanted. Samoilovs now with the serve. Nice block from Smedins. That's why they've been going after Imakora. They feel that they can get some good touches, make some good reads on him. Good touch, but a nice block from uh, Moritz Pristaus, who happened to be in at the net, so stepped up and made the block. You wouldn't advocate going that with your right hand, but it was in one of those awkward places. And being a right-hander, Smolovs has got it in play. Generally, when you're going to the left to play the ball, extreme situations, you'd play it with your left hand, no matter which is your favourite hand or your dominant arm. Good hustle this from both sides. And a very nice swing from Pristaus.
Makura going over the top of Samoilovs. But it's that issue of going after the line or going down the line. The line is such a small target. It's only a couple of inches wide. Ideally, you want to go down the line and give yourself always give yourself a little bit of margin for error. Easy leave that one for Austria. Side switch. And it's even Stevens at the moment. Samoilov's putting his hands in the way, but not getting the angle and getting enough penetration into court to send the ball straight down. kept out of the net that's such a difficult skill when the ball's in tight like that to play it not only getting in a position where your partner can then play it but not follow through and touch the net with your hands Very good lead that from Samoilovs. Smedins to serve. Latvia so good, they just go about their business. Nothing bothers them. Their game against Italy to set up this quarter-final encounter was an epic. The last game of the day. And they were able to uh, come back from having lost the first set. 17-21, they won the next 21-19 and then won the decider 15-13. Emakura and Pristaus know that it's going to be a, a tough, tough game against Samoilov and Smedins, such experienced campaigners. Yanis Medins with a bronze medal from London 2012, played at the in the games in 2016. Samoilovs has been at the last three Olympic Games. 2008, 2012, and 2016. 15 firsts, 13 of those on the FIVB. Someone else was the uh, Sports Person of the Year 2018. And it was team of the year with Janis Schmedins in 2013 and 2014. And they were tour champions in 13 and 14 as well. So they've seen the absolute highs of this sport, being the best of the best. And still mixing it with the best now.
That was always going to be really tough for Yanis Medins because he's in front of his playing partner. He's got his not got a good view of the court. And Irma Kova was all over him. Really well played. A little bit of hurry up offense from Latvia. Suddenly goes quick, but good movement that from Irma Kova. Being able to side step out wide and get up, but not able to get up high enough to stop Smedins. Good touch. Oh, well played, really well read. That was exceptional play from Austria. Aware of what Latvia are capable of. It might be three touch volleyball. Doesn't mean you have to use all three touches. And Pristaus was up early and able to cut that one back to the line, even with Smedins on it. Really well played. Ermakova now with the serve. That's a bit tight. Ermakova will get onto it, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yanis Smedin's letting Ermakora know in no uncertain terms that yes, it was out because I pushed the ball into your hands and then it went into the antenna. Hand, antenna, you touched it last, my point. Ermakora trying to make out that Smedin's touched it last. Oh, and it's an ace serve. Well, that'll really get under the skin of Ermacora because he's just had a little bit of afters, a little bit of a set two with Smedins. Wasn't happy. And then Samoylovs puts the ball right on him deep. That's a brilliant serve. That's well played. No rush of blood from Ermacora. He was uh, up nice and high in rhythm with the swing. Gets the side out. Good touch. Well, not sure if that was going to be in or out. Oh, yes, free swing. Well played. Samoylovs loves doing that. He jumped. Umakura bought it. Decided he had to go and block. And Samoylovs had no intention of hitting that. And then it was the easiest of putaways for Smedins. Latvia happy to a 50 50 block. Both equally capable. When it comes down to it, more often than not, Samoylovs will be in at the net. Well, that's really well played. Wrapping that one onto the line. Such seasoned campaigners, as I mentioned, they know these situations. They've played in these situations many times with these kind of conditions. And even though Samoylovs has put that behind his head and Smedins is slightly under it, it's still able to create the space to find the line. Oh, well played. Smedins makes a block. And now Latvia are one point away from taking the opening set. Well, good touch. Swing here for Samoylovs to get it done. And he has done. Brilliant. Quick couple of points for Latvia, and they tidy up the first set, 
Away we go with the second set. Latvia with the serve, taking the first very comfortably against Austria in the end, 21-14. It was a patient build-up from Latvia. Austria gave as good as they got in the opening exchanges, but then Latvia able to pull away. Now it will be Pristaj with the serve. Good take that. But a great block from Smedins and the opportunity to capitalize, not taken by Austria. They're always looking to find a way to make it so difficult for the opposition. We weren't even thinking of three touches, just pop it up. We can go on two, we can put the pressure on, keep them moving. That's what Latvia will do, and they'll do it all game long. Brilliant. And now Emacor just doesn't know what to do. He didn't know whether or not that Smedins was going to set that one, and he's just stood there. You can see the frustration. Like, oh, God. Oh, well, I thought he was going to set it. Start sowing those seeds of doubt with the jump set. A great serve from Smedins. And he's able just to work the block. The ball was, uh, it was very tricky. Once it gets hoisted high here in Cancun, it, with the wind swirling around, so difficult. But Smedins did really well. Tidy side out from Emma Korat. Side switch now for the teams. And Latvia done well at the good end as they have the lead at the turnaround. That's one of those plays where Pristaus is sat in the cross court and he has to make a decision. Can he see that the ball's going to be hit hard? There was never going to be coming to hit hard with the way that Samoylovs went up. The line was well covered. He's got to really make a, a move on that ball and chase it down. Samoylovs trying to do that on his side, showing the intent. Almost got it. That's off the block and away for a point for Latvia. Well played. Austria being moved left and right, but they're still in the rally. Oh, that was never going to work. Emma off balance. And 
unable to control the ball properly. That was like a game of squash. Latvia holding the box, Austria running around left and right behind. And Austria call the timeout. Sometimes you just have to pick your moments as well. And Samoa was very good at that. He knows what's a lost cause and what isn't. He won't needlessly go running after everything unless he really believes he can get on the ball. Smedins was setting that one back into the wind, but he overcompensated and he ended up putting it behind Samoilov, which is why he couldn't get the control on the ball he wanted. Samoilov's made that look really easy. Just continue to drift past Irmakura, who left too much line in the end. Nice play from Austria. They have to work really, really hard to get their points. And is it a level they can sustain for the rest of the match? Pushing that one too wide, and then there was nowhere for Samoilovs to go. So, yellow card time delay given against Yanis Smedins. Just a warning. That's a good leave. Some incredible stats from these two teams. 
And that is quarterfinal. Martin Moritz have a, a two and four record in World Tour quarterfinal matches, whilst the Latvians have a 30 and 13 mark at the, uh, in the Elite Eight, as it's known. That's some record. We're into the technical timeout, but it's Austria who have the slight advantage in this second set, trailing as they do by one set to nothing. This is the third event for Samoylovs and Smedins in Mexico together. They captured the 2014 Puerto Vallarta Open. Martin Moritz had a good run uh, in November 2020, actually. He got a fifth in Chetumal after being eliminated in the quarterfinals by the eventual winners and gold medal, or gold medalists, obviously, because they won. Taylor Crabb and uh, Jake Gibb. Smedins to serve again. Not quite going to bring that one into play. So after the block, Austria get their side out. Just checking who it is to serve. This is where Austria need to move forward and take control of this set now that they have the two-point margin. It's been given in by the referee, despite the lines person calling it out. Arguments from Austria. Well, McCor has had a lot to do in this match. He is the go-to player. As far as Latvia are concerned, they're going to be putting and have been putting pretty much every serve on him. That's a good touch from Emma Kaur. He's got a chance here, but a good continuation block from Samoylovs. That's what makes them so good, Latvia. So good. Just when you think you've got him under the cosh. Samoylovs hand setting. That was amazing. And then it's an easy cut for Smedins. for a touch well it's a net touch that was given against Samoylovs <laughs> key seven points coming up now with Latvia at the good end if Austria can come away from that with the, at the side switch taken three or four points they'll be delighted it'll put them right in the box seat going in to what would probably be the last series of seven
Well, it's an interesting one for Smedins to decided he decided to stay in despite the fact that Irma Cora was quite a way off the net. And that was a really good swing. I just wonder whether or not if Smedins had broke, then that would have allowed Smolos to take another step to his left. He might well have transitioned that ball. Too late now, though. That's a good use of the block from Samoylov. Smedin's also hustling over to make sure he had it covered. Takes that step in and then he's off and checking. Yep, it's out. All good. Easy leave. And Austria holding on to their lead as a result. Someone else is going to go through and block. So now just taking it up a gear. Latvia moving away from the 50-50. And that's why. What a block from Samoylovs. Just when they needed it. Samoylovs gets out of the way. Starts on the cross court. Jumps back into the line. Really good block. Doesn't make it for a second time. And Austria will go around the side switch, one in front, with the good end, advantage for them, but it's only a slim one. They have a chance, nonetheless, to take this one into a decider. Oh, good block, Ermakora. Be a call the timeout. Time Smedin's got a, a yellow card time delay warning from the first official, so any other is misdemeanors would be a red card, and that would be a point loss. Red cards also given out for dissent, bad language, that kind of thing. Pretty similar standard to indoor. Came in on a full approach, but quite early showed he was going with the roller. Makora just waiting for it. Great hang time. more like it that time really committed and you're thinking he should have done it the last time out Austria still very much in the driving seat one side out here gives them set point and they get it massive swing that from Emma Cora Someone was jumping too far into the cross. He jumped past Irma Cora. Bristol's to serve. Unforced error from Samoylovs. It's one all. We're going into a decider.
hope you're enjoying the beach volleyball here in Cancun, wherever you're watching from, wherever you are in the world. Very different weather conditions around the world. I know for a fact that it's snowing in Colorado right now. And if you are sat there watching from there and then looking at these wonderful waves breaking on the shore in this magnificent weather in Cancun, probably thinking it'd be a nice place to be right now. Away we go then with the decider. So while I was not happy, I think he was a bit more of a around potential screening. Either way, Latvia take the opening point. The touch, good hustle. Couldn't quite engineer a winning touch on it, but they might do now though. And they have done. Excellent work from Samoilovs and Smedins. Just moved up another couple of gears in that rally. That's frustrating, isn't it? Someone who's that tall rolling the ball into the net, particularly for Irma Cora, who did it. And this is the perfect start. Latvia, I've got Austria on the ropes here. Good touch. But that one's gone into the net and not caught the block, even though it bounced out very far indeed. There's no challenge. No way of actually telling whether it caught a little piece of Samoilovs. And at 4 nothing down, Austria called time out. Austria need the side out here now. Really need to get back into this one. Losing four points at the good end. Not a good position to be in. They pick up one, but the side switch means they're now going round to the wind at their backs. But what we have seen over the last few days... is that the players have become more used to the conditions, getting a good eye on where the ball needs to be placed, just the strength of the wind and where it's gusting around. The only problem Austria have here is the fact that this is a race to 15 and not 21. They're going to find that the points are going to run out pretty quickly. They need to make sure that they can side out consistently. Oh, that was exactly what's uh, required. Big swing from Irma Cora. He does have a tendency to go and hit in rhythm. It's quite a, a, a relaxed rhythm. But that one, he really did open up and put everything through it. Points required from serving. Got to get some hustle here if they can. That's a good touch. Opportunity, but it's a little tight. Doesn't matter because Pristaj gets a touch on the ball. He's been what you might call an innocent bystander for most of this match. Not being able to have an opportunity to attack. 
having to put the ball up for his partner. So relishing that opportunity and he's now brought his team back to within two. Well played Samoylovs. And it's a pretty simple scenario for Latvia now because all they have to do is keep siding out. Oh, that was un unlucky from Imakura's point of view, wasn't it? Oh dear. Well, Samoylovs went too early. Thought that was coming over. Brilliant play from Moritz to put that one up and give Ermakora a free swing. And at the end change, Austria have got themselves back into this one now, just two behind. touch popped up and that's nice for Smedins to work the block and move Latvia further in front fortunately though it didn't catch the block so Austria will take the point Oh, Umakora didn't know where it went. Must have closed his eyes as he went up to block that one. And then he's turning around wondering where it is and it's, you know, it's above his head. Easy leave. Oh, that's a great block. Ermakora was struggling in the first set to know whether or not to jump, whether it was going to be a set, whether it was going to be a hit. He's got that one spot on. Commits in the block and denies Samoylovs. This third set has just got very interesting now after that 4 nothing down scenario Austria right back in it that was close but Latvia take the side out this is where Austria need to remain calm not get frustrated there is still enough points to work with to get themselves back in front not like that though they won't that one straight into the panic channel as varying terms the seam as it's technically known or well, you can call it the panic channel, the corridor of uncertainty, and Irma Cora was definitely uncertain as to whether to play it or not. Oh, another good serve this time, taking Irma Cora away from his partner. Two aces in a row for Smedins. And just like that, Latvia open up their four-point lead again. Good hustle. Good pick up from Pristaus. Chance here for Austria. And he's taken it. Really on the ball. Moritz Pristaus. Very, very skillful player who Latvia have tried to avoid at all costs.
it up. That's a good touch. Chance here, but it's a bit tight for Samoylovs. Jout central and the pokey clipping the line. Well, those of you supporting Austria here can't have any fingernails left. Just when they look to be out of it, they get back into it again. What a roller coaster of a third set this is. Still, though, advantage with Latvia. But it's Austria moved to the good end. Chance maybe to make something happen from the serving line, as Smedins did when he went back. Well, they have made something happen. And Samoylov's very quickly calls timeout. Just one point in it. Momentum and rhythm with Austria, but it's the lead at the moment with Latvia. Christos once again. Big moment this for Austria. Well, that's a really good pass from Samoylovs. You expect them to side out from here, but it's a bit tight. They're going to have to go again. Oh, what a set that is. And they get away with it. But now there's a chance for Austria. Big chance. Not taken. Now it is taken. Goodness me. How many chances are they going to need? But they get it done. It's 11 all. Have they got Latvia on the ropes here? Now it's going to go with the jumper. And it's a really good serve. Chance to go in front. Brilliant from Austria. They've been patient. They haven't cracked under the pressure. They were four behind. They got back to within two. They went four behind again. And now they find themselves one in front, right at the business end, right when it matters most. They're on the verge, maybe, of knocking out Latvia. Oh, they really needed that one to go in. At least make Latvia play the ball. Smedin serves. Smolovs will stay at the net. Smedin's looking to pick something up in defence. Not going to happen. That's an absolute thumper from Irma Kora. Boom, brilliant swing. If Austria are going to do this, they're going to have to do it from the bad end. A side out from Latvia, we're all square, but it's still advantage with Latvia because they'll be siding out to go in front if they can side out. That's a massive hit. And Makura under pressure. Was he under pressure? Of course he wasn't under pressure. Because he made the pass. Bristows puts it on a plate. And Makura hammers it away. And it is now match point for Austria. Okay, 
Samoy loves to keep Latvia in it. But there's going to be a swing here. Well, it won't be. It's free ball. Latvia come again. Oh, that's a bit tight. Oh, goodness me. Knife edge stuff. Oh, and it's not landed in. And unbelievably, it's victory for Austria. What a comeback in this third set. Brilliant, brilliant volleyball from Martin Imakora and Moritz Pristaus to book their place in the semi-finals here in Cancun. Imakora can't believe it. I think there's a tears of joy for Irma Cora. Goodness me. He was the player that was.